All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, or Kakadash. All right, shalom, brothers and sisters in this truth. I'm your brother, Mr. LJ, coming to you again with another presentation from the headlines of Great Babylon and also around the world. Uh, Lord willing, hopefully this will be edifying to you. Um, and what you have, what what you have here on your uh, screen here uh, is basically it's a a rally. Um, uh, protests against the vaccination for uh, healthcare workers uh, at this um, um, hospital here in Indiana. Now, this is actually a trend that's going around the country because remember that this wicked man wants to get at least 75, 70 percent of uh, so-called Americans um, vaccinated by 4th of July, which we know is not, not going to happen, and they're taking the evil plans across the uh, the globe. But here and what here what I'm going to be bringing to you today is um and I'm going to play this video so that you can hear what they're saying and then I'm going to bring some other articles uh that's going to be related to this but before we get into that let's go into the uh let's go into the precept um basically I'm going to start from the book of uh Job uh chapter 18 and I'm going to start from verse 4 and bring it all the way down to uh verse 21 and it starts with uh verse 4 he teared himself in his anger Shall the earth be forsaken for thee, and shall the rock be removed out of his place? And here we see seen Esau right now, just all around his, all around, I mean, his entire uh, foothold on this earth is being challenged, okay? And even here in Babylon amongst the people, all of his, his, his rules and regulation are being challenged. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle and his candles shall be put out with him. Okay. And as we go into this, you're going to see how, um, you know, the pan there's a lot of panic that's going on with these people and particularly the Edomites. If you can see here right now, the majority of people in this video are going to be Edomites. And I'm going to show you, uh, basically, you know, the, 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 the bragging that they've had over the years of our demise in this nation, you know, because these Edomites, while they might be at the lower level of, the uh elites or the, the edomites that are really controlling things these are the same these are the people that oppress us the most because most of these people are your lower level people that have managerial or supervisory position that can actually give a job to a jake and when i say jake i mean the northern and southern tribe all 12 tribes of the israelites that are here in great babylon right now struggling to make ends meet daily and weekly okay uh moving on the steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. Okay, and we're going to talk about this snare. Uh, the jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. Yep, we'll talk about that too. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and they trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. And what is that terror? The terror of losing their house their money, their savings, their 401k, uh, everything that's associated with going up against their own wicked queendom, okay? And we're going to see that inside these reports, okay? His strength should be hunger bitten and destruction should be ready at his side. And we know what comes with destruction as they start to go up against this wicked government. What is going to happen? This government is going to strike back with what? Those mandatory requirements, those shutdowns, those lockdowns, those fake cyber attacks, the fake blackouts that they have coming right here. Right now, if you go in the supermarket, you can see the food is actually double in price just from two months ago, okay? And that is how the strike back is going to come. So these people are going to be taking, okay, their tabernacle, you know, which they build around really their wealth, their 401k, their IRA, um, their, you know, their savings and all of that stuff and being able to sit down at the fireplace and with Becky and Mikey and Amy and Tommy and Bobby and talk about what they, what they're going to be doing for their future and their retirement is now coming to an end. It's now, it's now, uh, uh, right now it's going to meet its demise. And let's continue. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even a firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Okay, and Yahweh Shem is bringing terror to these people because what makes these what makes these Edomites special around the world? Every everywhere they go, everybody lays the red carpet for them. You know why? Because they have the petro American dollar or that British pound or sterling. Uh, they have the French the franc or they have the German Deutsch, you know, or the Australian dollar or the Canadian dollar. Why? And because of that, people take their crap. Okay, over here, 
we take their crap because they have every have to go to them for everything okay let's continue on it should dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his brimstone should be scattered upon his habitation his roots should be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be cut off his remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the street now right now as these as these edomites start to get poor people will start to have less and less and less respect for them okay you think about it when, when you were growing up okay that bully or that, that neighbor kid that had it all like that you know pretty much could control everybody you know you want to ride my bike you know hey you know you do what i say then you can ride on my new bike or play with my new toys but when you know hard times hit them like that what what did you do you turn around you knock them the, knock them the hell out okay you don't listen to poor people that's the reason why nobody have respect for us we're poor okay we don't have fame around the world like that okay so their wealth is being dried up their job their security is going to get dried up too and we're going to see this uh let's go he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people nor any remaining in his dwellings they that come after him shall be a stone at his day as they went before were frightened surely surely such as the dwellings of the wicked this is the place of him that knoweth not Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and these people have no respect uh, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh they have no knowledge of him they don't put no faith into him they put their faith into their 401k and we're going to play these videos and then we're going to go into some of the uh, uh, the other articles and uh, information that, that uh, that's associated with this so without further ado high temperatures and turnout at a heated protest in Indianapolis Saturday Healthcare workers fighting a new vaccine mandate from IU Health System, which says by September all employees must get a COVID vaccination or face termination. If you get the vaccine, why should I have to? Why should I ha be made and be threatened my livelihood? if the vaccine works for you. This weekend, a federal judge settling a challenge in Houston, where over 100 employees of Houston Methodist Hospital sued their employer over a similar mandate. We're just basically fighting for everybody to have their free choice of what they do. The judge striking down claims that employees face coercion to take the vaccine in a right to work state, stating in her ruling, Methodist is trying to do their business of saving lives without giving them the COVID-19 virus. It's a choice made to keep staff, patients, and their families safer. The so, as you can see there, okay, they cried out to the judge the same way we cry out to, to them about unfair treatment. And the judge turned around and said, hey, you know what? They're trying to keep it safe. So, this is that snare that Yahweh by Shem Yashad said him. That's why it says in, in Job uh, chapter 18, it says, the snares laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Okay. These are the same proud ass uh, Edomites that you see walking on the street every day that will look down at you and wouldn't even give you the, the time or day. These are the same ones that, you know, snub at you. Okay. These are the same ones that snub at our people. These are the same ones that sit down and call you a nigger at the dinner table like that. These are the same ones that go, those people are lazy. They don't do anything. You know, the fact that we've been over here 500 years busting our ass and have nothing to show for it. Okay. Now, let's take a look. Let's take a hard look at how proud these people really are and why I brought those, those, uh, those scriptures out to describe their demise. Okay. And the fact that their snare is getting them right now. As you can see, their own leaders are turning around and screwing them over like that. Okay. Now, let's talk about uh how they talk about with the covid and everything said so black workers face two of the most lethal pre-existing condition for coronavirus racism and economic inequality see we've always been at the bottom we've always had to survive with very little okay we've always had to look at look through the window of them dining and whining and dining okay wishing that we can live their life okay and they've always had that life you know even the lowest of these these these, these uh edomites okay and you can take a look right here and you can see here how unemployment has affected us and how has it affected them, okay? We are constantly at the bottom, okay? All right, facing now. Doesn't matter if you have the education, doesn't matter if you, have, if you don't have the education, you're still at the same way facing these things. And we know that this is part of the judgment and that we're facing from Yahweh HaShem HaShem in the society. But see, we, are, we in this truth can accept uh, or, or coming to the acceptance that that is the fact right there. Uh, whereas these people right now are going to actually, they, these people have no clue 
what is coming for them, okay? They have no clue what is coming for. They have no clue what is coming for them, okay? So let's take a look at this here. Now, how many, how many, let's take a look at the, uh, how many uh, people actually work in the healthcare industry. Now, we know in the healthcare industry, you have to go to very expensive school, which mainly our people can ever afford to. So that means what? Most of these workers are going to be Edomite. Who did you see in the video? Edomites, okay? And so here, healthcare workers make up 20 million, okay? 20 million, 20 and a half million workers, okay? This is, the, this is, the, this is uh, 2018, so that's, that's even more. And you can see these other industries here, you know, going from 13,000 to about 15 million for these other ones here. So one thing you know in America with the unhealthy lifestyles is what? People are going to die. They're going to get sick. So it makes up a lot of these people. What do you see here? These are Edomites. Edomites are doctors, surgeons, okay, nurses, everything, okay? Our people might be working inside there too in, in some capacity at that level, very few, uh, mostly, you know, changing piss and shit and wiping shit off, off of these Edomites' ass and stuff like that, you know, in some capacity of, of servitude like that, Okay. Now they've been bragging all the while. Here you look at here. It says why are on why are, why are employment rates so low among black men? They love putting the black man down. Why? Because the so-called black man, which 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 is what they describe as we know ourselves as the Hebrew Israelite. Okay, it's supposed to be the head of the household. But how the hell can you be the head of a household? Your family will look at you, or your wife look at you, or your kids look at you as as anything when you can't even get a damn job. Doesn't matter if you have a degree. Doesn't matter if you have an education or the skill set out there like that. We've been systematically kept down. And that is why, this is why it is so great to see something like this, that these people are in a panic state right now. That's why it says in Job chapter 18, it says, terrors shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. They're on their feet now, meaning what? They're alert. They are now alert and realizing that what was happening to us is now happening to them. They now have to worry about their future. And the thing about it is this, if you had nothing to lose to begin with, it doesn't matter. We still in our poor state. But see, when you always see what comes with these Edomites, they're very proud people. Okay, take a look at it. Look at look at how they look at look at the look at this, this is the uh, Federal Reserve System talking about the poverty, the wealth gap here in this country. This is Edomites, and this is us. Look at look at this look at the significance. Okay, in fact, they're more they have more wealth than all the other than everybody else put together. Now they'll separate. The so-called black and Hispanic as if we are two separate people when we know for a fact that we are the northern and southern tribe, okay? That we are the same people like that. But this is how they've been pitting us against each other. So you can see here, we're lower than, slightly lower than Hispanics because a lot of the Hispanics have lighter skin, look a little bit somewhat like the Edomites too. Like that, they have tend to have a little bit better opportunities of getting a job because they have here, you know, some of them have horse hair like the, these Edomites and, you know, uh, look kind of close to resemble to them like that. So, but you can see here where they've been pitting us and the rest of these others are going to be your, you know, your Hamites, you know, your Moabites and, you know, your Elams and all those things like that. Those, those are the, those are the people and their wealth is actually significant too, but we're at the bottom. Okay. You can look and see this and they've been putting this in, they've been putting this for years in our face, Wall Street Journal, you name it. They've been putting this for years in our face, right? Because this is the perplexity that we face every single time in there, but as we can see right now, they are facing this, okay? It's, they, it says, his strength shall be hunger bitten and the structure should be ready at his side, okay? They're going to lose their house. They're going to lose their job. Right now, there's no compromising here, okay? Methodists is trying to do their business of saving lives without giving them the COVID-19 virus. It is a choice made to keep staff, patients, and their families safe, okay? That is a snare, and these Edomites right now, see your rights don't work. Now I showed you here how many inside, the, how many works inside this. Twenty. Right now, this is this is only the third hospital that is making headlines like this. This is going to go. This is going to transfer over to corporate America, but mainly in the medical field. You can see where this is happening right here. That is going to require this. The jobs tend to pay better. So guess what? You don't want to work for eighty thousand thousand dollars or ninety thousand dollars a year. We can sure as hell find somebody else to do it. And that is it right there. There's a lot more competition for high paying jobs than it is for these low paying jobs. Restaurants and these other places really can't push that out there. Why? Well, when you make your money, your, your paycheck or your money from tips, you really don't have an employer, really. You're really working for yourself. But when you're getting a check with benefits and all this other stuff and, you know, you dream of having this, which is that what? 
this IRA as they show this IRA and savings and 401k then you're going to be compelled and so that's the snare right here let's see exactly what they're all made out of right here okay see that's why I, that's why I continue on here in Job chapter 18 it says his confidence should be rooted out of his tabernacle and it should be bring him to, to the king of terrors and he can know who the king of terror is who's the king of terror Yahweh is the king of terror because he is the one that actually puts a judgment on everybody he put the judgment on us we understood what terror is over here okay and we understand it right now and Jacob's trouble is coming to even understand that even more and these people are going to understand what that is like they spent freely taking vacation and now they're about to face the real music okay now I can go on and on with this for about another hour and bring you bring up maybe 20 or 30 other articles and a whole lot of big things and sad idea like that but to keep it short so bits and pieces so that so that uh we understand and get an understanding that you know our enemies are facing the same thing as we are facing okay and I encourage you uh to continue to look onto this yourself okay and understand and have faith in your how about Shimei Asha that he's going to deliver us out of this wickedness okay out of this kingdom and our enemies we are, we will have the privilege of watching our enemies fall before us starting with these low level Edomites okay and these other nations who are now getting the judgment fall on them who snickered at us and made fun of us uh, now they're about to see and live our life and with that I'd like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash. I'd like to give a shout out to the elders and brothers from Great G, uh, from Great Millstone, and all to you other brothers out there that are putting out this truth, and to you sisters that are watching. Shalom.